Yeah, my name is Nigi Amuda. How can you make a link clickable in an image? So this is an image. This is a design. Now, how do you make this link? For example, this is a link. All right. How do you make it clickable so that if somebody tap on it like this, it will redirect them to the website? All right. Is that achievable? Yes. That is what I'm going to show you in this video. Let me go over to Adobe Acrobat and show you a sample of what I am saying. So this is this is a document. All right. This is a document. All right. I'm going to click on this link right here. You see, there's a link here. Are you seeing that now? I'm going to click on it like this. And you see that it's going to direct me somewhere. Are you seeing it now? Open web page. So, do you want to open the page at blah 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 blah? So it's going to carry me now to a particular website. So you see that this link on this website is clickable. You can click it. Sorry, on your flyer on this photo. Once you click it, it can take you somewhere. So you know, client, different client I work with can come with different um, expectation. They can come with different things that you, they want you to do. So I created this flyer for a particular particular client, and then he told me, "Please, can you make the link on the flyer clickable?" I thought for some seconds, and I said, "Wow, that can be achieved using a particular um, website, okay, a particular platform." And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. And I want you to watch to the end so that you learn exactly what to do. All right. So I'm going to use this particular design as example so the first thing first now because you are not using this software this is pixel lab right there there is canva there are other design softwares but because i'm not using those guys i am using this particular one all right now you would have to design your flyer design your image and create a link so this link could be a button all right or it could be just a link like this just the way it is like this so once you have you are done creating your link, the next thing you're gonna do is to copy the link. That is what I want to do right now. So this is this is the link. All right, I'm going to just double click on this, and I will cut, and then I will press OK. Now right here you see that there is a space provided for the link. There is a space provided for the link. Then I'm going to go over here and I will save the image. All right, so I'm going to save the image right here. Now, the email is going to run, it's going to say, okay, it will save just the way it is without a link. Now, the next thing you want to do is to pay attention to the size of the image. In this case, the width is 1280, the height is 1280. It is a um, one ratio one flyer, okay? So it's perfect square, like an Instagram design post, okay? So now you're going to go over to Canva. So this is Canva. Canva is a media tool that is just for modern graphic design. You could do a lot, I mean a lot and a lot of wonderful things with Canva. One of the things you can do here is that you can create a one-page website, you can create videos, you can create presentations, okay, you can create documents, you can create a whiteboard, you can create a website, you can see a website here. So that's not for this video, all right? So what we want to do now is to go over here, click on the plus. Now, you want to get the exact size for your design so i'm going to go over to custom size here then i'm going to write that size remember this size the size we saw here all right so i'm just going to put it so your own may not be exactly so make sure you get the exact size of the design they come here and fix it the way it's because this one is already in pixel then click on create new design it's going to open a fresh template for you a fresh canva for you where you can begin to work on your design now the next thing you want to do is to go over to where you have uploads right here go over to where you have this guy here uploads all right now you click on it sorry click on uploads now you will see image you will see video you will see audio so right here where you have the image option click on upload files right here click on it just once like this then go to device then you'll be able to upload that particular design so click on this um media picker all right then this is the design that i just saved with that now it's going to upload for you so it's uploading once it is uploaded then the next thing you want to do is to click on it once like this you will see that it's going to be 
inserted you want the imported here so hold any of the edges and increase it to one end hold this edge and increase it to the other end now the design has filled the screen the next thing you want to do is to bring your test to now i'm going to go over to what i have test here i'm going to click on add a text box right or you can just click on any of these tests so i want um i want this let's use this you can use this but i want this one add a sub edit so something like that okay i've added that then i'm going to just hold it like this and paste okay i'm just going to paste the link all right the link i'll be posted paste it rather so i'm going, going to do it like this this is the link so i'm just going to reduce it all right so go to font size and just reduce all right then you just carry it and fix it where it should be so it means i still have to reduce it all right then i move it here now you see that we have a link right there so i want it to be um clickable so there's there's a pen here you can see some functions but well, that's not what you that's not what we want what we want is just to make it clickable so i want it to be maybe pink or something so that it will look it will tell someone that there, there, there's something there so i'm just gonna go over to here okay so let us make it or oh, maybe maybe pink so it better what do you want just make it a color or something so that somebody will know that there's a link there so once you have saved it you click on it like this then you now click on this and you look for this guy here link so click on the test look for link click on link like this then enter a link or search so i'm going to come here i'm going to type the link here all right then I'm, there's a link mode here so no need for all those many many stuff then uh, i think we're done link added so it means that if i click this guy it's going to take me somewhere because the link will be added so you go to this guy here all right so you're going to go to this guy here export you want to save it now go to download now don't save it as jpeg png or whatsoever save it as a pdf not pdf print just pdf standard yes and then you just click on save so that your design will be your link will be clickable don't forget to like this video share it with a friend and subscribe to this youtube channel for more tips like this now your download will begin in a short while so we could click here to begin it automatically so i think it's already done so let's just go over to here let's go to download and let's just download it what is it uh, this is it so this is it so remember to change the, the name because it's going to be changed say with a link or something so i'm opening it now it is open it is open right now this is a link so let's click on link and see where that's going to take us somewhere i'm going to click on the link like this wow beautiful it's going to redirect me to a page isn't that beautiful all right you see that now so click on the link it takes you to a page so remember to save the image as a pdf document so that you can send it to someone my name is Nia Muda. i hope you got value from this video subscribe and share it and tell me what you think in the comment section and i'll see you